Hi, I'm going to teach you the laptop motherboard parts and components. Okay, so we're gonna see many motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding the laptop motherboard parts and components. So the first part is the processor, as you can see. Here, this is the screw that we can use to open or close the processor. As you can see, this is the open side and here close side. You can just turn this screw to open the processor. So this is the processor. This is the GMC hedge or the North Bridge. Here we have the graphic card. This is NVIDIA graphic card, as you can see. This is the IC hedge or the South Bridge. Okay. Here we have the Super I.O. This is a big Super I.O. Here we have the RAM or Random Access Memory. You can remove it easily, as you can see, and then put it back. Okay. So there is many types of Random Access Memory. There is a DDR1, DDR2, 3, 4, etc. And for every RAM has a specific working voltage, for example, for this kind of RAM, 1.8 volt. This is a DDR2 RAM, okay, with 1.8 volt working principle. Of course, for other RAMs, for example, DDR1 is 2.5 volt, DDR2 1.8 volt, DDR3 1.5 volt, DDR4. 1.2 volt and DDR5 1.1 volt. Okay, so for every kind or type of RAM, it has a specific working voltage. So here, as you can see, this is capacitors, inductor, as you can see, two inductors, two channels for the processor. Okay, here also we have inductor, capacitor, here another capacitor. This is another capacitor. Here we have MOSFETs, as you can see. This is IC. This is another IC. Here we have an oscillator. So as you can see, here we have capacitors. Inductor. This is capacitor, inductor, capacitor, a polarized capacitor. Here, as you can see, we have two channels, two inductors. This is two channel for the processor. Okay, this is the power channel for the processor to give the VCC core for the processor. Okay, this is MOSFETs, ceramic capacitors. This is oscillator IC that gives the clock or the frequency to the whole motherboard. This is the crystal, as you can see, Y2. Always crystal has a Y to reference or X. This is MOSFET, as you can see. Eight pin MOSFETs. Those are ICs. Okay. ICs. Okay. Here this is inductors. Over here we have other ICs, as you can see, with six pins and five pins. This is the CMOS battery, as you can see, the CMOS battery with 2.4 volt. So here we're going to see another motherboard. So this is the processor. Here we have the GMC hedge or the North Bridge, as you can see. With the graphic card, so the graphic card is integrated with this GMC hedge. And here we have the IC hedge, as you can see. This is the Super I.O. This is the BIOS, Basic Input Output System. Okay. With 8 pin, this is an 8 pin BIOS. This is the RAM, the Random Access Memory. This is a DDR2 RAM. Okay. Here we have, as you can see, inductors, as you can see, capacitors, chemical capacitors. Those are ICs, power management ICs. So the charge IC and the 3 volt, 5 volt IC. This is the power jack. Here we have the protection component. This is a current sense resistor. Over here we have the oscillator, as you can see, for the frequency. 
this is the crystal as you can see for the crystal you can find its reference x or y so for this crystal we have x as you can see x2 so this ic is the audio controller ic that controls the audio okay this is regulators or power converter ICs, all those are capacitors. This is a chemical capacitors. So here we have ceramic capacitors, as you can see. So let's see another motherboard. So in this motherboard, this is an improved and an enhanced motherboard. So the processor the GMCH and the graphic card are integrated in, in one chip, as you can see. So this one chip contains the processor, the GMCH or not range, and the graphic card. And over here we have the ICH. Okay, this is a RAM, the random access memory. This type of RAM is a DDR3. Okay. So this is the Super IO, as you can see. I will show you these components in many motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding motherboards okay so here as you can see this is the charge i see near to the battery connector as you can see okay here this is the power jack connector as you can see here this is the power jack connected to the cable as you can see here we have two red wires hold 19 volt and two black wires for the ground so this is the processor as you can see here we have two channel or two inductor as you can see two inductor here this is chemical capacitors the with plus and minus so this is a CMOS battery socket a 3 volt CMOS battery this is the BIOS as you can see with eight pins this is the first pin the first pin the second third fourth five six seven and eight always the pin number eight hold three volt 3.3 volt so those are connectors or ports the motherboard ports this is ic's as you can see this ic this is the control the audio control for these ports as you can see this is the speaker and the audio control if you have any problem with the audio, you should check that IC. So in the back side of the motherboard, this is the back of the processor, a lot of chemical capacitors, as you can see, and here we have MOSFETs, two MOSFETs here and two MOSFETs also here, as you can see. We have here other type of MOSFET. Those also are MOSFETs in this shape. Here we have the power battery or the connector, the battery connector. This is the current sense resistor. This is the coil. This is inductor, not capacitor. And those are MOSFETs and ceramic capacitors. So here this is the diodes, as you can see. This is diodes. We have the connector, MOSFET, inductor, MOSFETs, chemical capacitors. We have here MOSFETs, as you can see, inductor, another capacitor. MOSFET and current sense resistor, as you can see. And here we have some capacitors. This is the Wi Fi or wireless card connector. This is the BIOS, the BIOS chip. And this is the MOSFET. Do you see the difference between the BIOS and the MOSFET? Always the BIOS chip is bigger than the MOSFET. As I, so, as I told you before, we're going to see many motherboards in order to understand deeply. So, this is another motherboard, as you can see. So, this is Acer motherboard, as you can see. So, always we have the processor, as you can see. This is the processor. Here, we have the GMCH or the North Bridge. Okay. This is the random access memories. Over here, we have the power channels for the processor, two inductors or coils, and here four MOSFETs, two and in for both channels. Let's see the other side. Normally, we will find other MOSFETs and chemical capacitor, as you can see. We have 
two MOSFETs with two chemical capacitors. Two MOSFETs with two chemical capacitors. So this processor has two channels. This is the ICH until ICH. Here we have the crystal X1, as you can see. So this is the CMOS battery. Here we have MOSFETs, 8 pin MOSFETs. This is the ESIO or super input output crystal BIOS, as you can see. Always the BIOS is bigger than the MOSFET. This is the charge IC because it is near to the power or to the battery connection, the charge IC. Here we have some transistors, three pin transistors, as you can see. Also here we have transistors. The reference for the transistors is Q. This is the audio control, as you can see. As you can see here we have the audio ports. Okay. If you have any problem with the audio ports or audio in general, you should check this IC. Maybe the IC is bad. If the IC is bad, you should replace it with another AC with the same reference. Here, as you can see, this is the power jack. Here, the power jack connector. Two red wires and two black wires. This is MOSFETs or switches. Okay. Here, we have diode protection component. 